Let's face it, seeing an airplane crash is probably one of the scariest things, like, ever. I mean, if you manage to catch one of these in person, then uh, it's something you'll never forget. I mean, I know I haven't, but we're gonna look at, today we're gonna look at people who did. This is a top five of the scariest airplane crashes. The top five real aviation disasters caught on video. Face it, driving sucks. It's expensive, you have to wait in traffic, you spend a fortune on gas, and strangers are always hmm. flipping you the bird. I mean, it's not wrong, though. But at least your car isn't a screaming ball of oh, fire my plummeting God. toward the ground like a no, meteor no. full of aviation fuel. Oh. We promise that after you're done watching the top five real aviation disasters oh. caught on video, driving your morning commute is going to feel like the warm embrace of a security blanket. <laughs> so buckle up your five-point harness and pull the ripcord. You're about to get a These face full of disaster. Terrifying. Our first aviation disaster is an egregious case of pilot error resulting in mass fatalities. Taipei. This is the TransAsia Airways Flight 235 crash in Taipei, Taiwan. On February 4th, 2015, NTA 235 took off from Taipei's domestic airport with 53 passengers oh boy. on board. Immediately that after does takeoff, not look good. brand new ATR 72600 experienced a flameout in one engine. Instead of getting the plane under control, the pilot flipped the derp switch and shut down the other engine that was still working. Derp, indeed. Plummeted from 1,500 feet. Well, you know, I don't know much about aviation, smashed into but the bed. I, I think that's probably a stupid killed, move to do. As well as several rescuers who entered the water looking for survivors. This was TransAsia Airways' second fatal crash in less than a year, and the airline went out of business in 2016. Our second mm. disaster is an air show. Whoopsie daisy. In fact, it's the worst disaster to ever strike an air show. This is the Skialiv Air Show Disaster of 2002. On July 27, 2002, over 10,000 people had gathered at Skialiv International Airport, near Lviv, Ukraine, to watch the air show. Two pilots were in their high-performance Su-27 fighter jet when they failed to pull up early enough from a dive. The jet hit the ground, but because the Su-27 is of a tough Soviet design, it skidded along the ground instead of immediately exploding. The oh, wait, I've seen this crash before, yeah. Barreling through the crowd of spectators I know that at high people it took died in this accident. It took a parked cargo plane and kept going, eventually somersaulting through more spectators and then exploding. Although the pilot survived, 77 spectators were killed, including 28 children. Oh, no. The pilots and several other crew were later convicted of negligence and sent to prison. Our number three is the second worst air show disaster of all time. It's the 1988 Ramstein Air Show crash. And no, we're not talking about the Ramstein that Duhas Mich, although it's just as bad. You might be thinking if Ukraine was the worst air show disaster of all time, how bad could the second worst be? Well, pretty freaking horrible too, as it turns out. Okay, let's see. In 1988, over 300,000 people gathered at the Ramstein Air Base in West Germany. Oh! In the Direct hit! Oh my the goodness! The aerial acrobatic team was performing a dangerous stunt called the like two air, maneuver. both airplanes like two formations of jets fly in opposing loops, then meet the piercing jet in a three-way cross directly over the audience. Sounds like a great idea, right? Well, the piercing jet arrived just a little early and slammed into the others, causing all three to crash. The screaming ball of flaming wreckage and aviation fuel careened directly into the crowd killing 67 people in addition to the three pilots. Oh, no. Also, around 1,000 spectators were injured. Our number four disaster was also at an air show, and also in 1988. It's a crash of an Air France A320 111 in front of a crowd of spectators. You know, it turns out 1988 was not a great time to be a show pilot. In what would turn out to be a terrible idea, Air France loaded 130 passengers onto an A320 to do a low-speed flyby at an what? air show. They wanted to show off the state-of-the-art fly-by-wire technology installed in the plane Whoa. first for any commercial jet. <laughs> that looks so casual, and then just boom. controls doesn't mean your 70-ton jet is going to stay looks in the air while grandma though. tries to take a selfie. With insufficient airspeed, the A320 and all 136 people on board plowed into the forest. Amazingly, even though this fireball looks very conclusive, only three people died in the crash. Our favorite aviation disaster is also the second from a Taiwanese airline. On August 22, 1999, China Airlines Man, Flight 642 from Taiwan Bangkok to Taipei today. was making a stop in Hong Kong and decided to stay there. The crew of the McDonnell Douglas MD-11 knew there was a typhoon in Hong Kong on that day, so the pilot had extra fuel loaded in case they needed to divert directly to Taipei. 
including the 300 passengers and 15 crew on board, the extra fuel meant the plane was just 500 pounds below its maximum landing weight. When the plane arrived uh -oh. in Hong Kong, Typhoon Sam was in full effect, but the Taiwanese pilots decided it wasn't anything they couldn't handle. Even though four earlier flights had missed their approaches due to crosswinds, oh my God. Flight 642 went for it. When the heavy plane touched down, it was falling at 20 feet per second, and the typhoon winds sucked away whatever lift remained under the wings. The right landing gear and engine struck the tarmac and caused the right wing to snap off. The jet then rolled onto its right side and eventually mm. stopped upside down and on fire. With a huge volume of aviation fuel everywhere and fire spreading quickly, massive fatalities could have ensued. But in the end, only three passengers died. Ironically, what? the typhoon might have caused the crash, oh, but it also put out the fire, Extremely saving lucky people. the stranded passengers hanging upside down in their seats. The CAL-642 route is still operated between Hong Kong and Taipei, but now they use a 747. Well, obviously, you know, it's hard to, you know, see uh, passengers like dying or getting injured, but, you know, in the end, um, either the pilots have to do more, like, prototype testing or something, or maybe we just have to be a bit more cautious the next time we want to go on an airplane. I mean, I know I will now after watching this video.